Wednesday, the 18th of July 2018 Air Transport Licensing is set to dominate the last state's meeting before the summer recess today. The two main airlines serving the bailiwick have warned it could result in fewer routes being served and prices increasing, the opposite of the Economic Development Committee's desired effect. Improving air connectivity is a key plank of the ED's remit, and it believes this deregulation would increase competition, and bring new routes and airlines to the island. Ed President Charles Parkinson, pictured above, recently said the attempts to sway the debate by Blue Islands, whose owner and CEO both published lengthy open letters slamming the plans, were nothing more than the protectionist attitude of the incumbents, and he would still back the proposals. However, he was less confident over whether they would be approved, saying, the states do some strange things. Two days before the debate, or new CEO Mark Darby, pictured above, also came out against the idea and painted a stark illustration of another island's experience with deregulation. The Isle of Man's experience with open skies should stand as a stark warning to Guernsey, where there had been a substantial deterioration in air services, to the detriment of the island's economy, Mr. Darby said. The number of destinations served from the Isle of Man had halved over the last decade, and weekly London flight frequencies dropped from 63 to 35, he added. Aside from this, Home Affairs President Mary Lowe will be giving an update to the Assembly on its work, and Gavin St. Pierre will speak about the latest state's financial situation. Among other items for discussion, Home Affairs will also be seeking approval for customs duties required because of Brexit and Environment and Infrastructure will debate its revised Waste Management Plan.